Hello fellow citizens of Lycan Air, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Lycan Legion. Episode 53, Improved Domus. You know what would be a neat feature? Is if you're on caravan, you have like a separate, if there was a food policy and a caravan food policy, you know, like a whole nother tab just so that you could eat perishables at home and eat non-perishables on caravan and not have to constantly switch between. I'm not saying caravan is tolerable. I still don't tolerate it. I hate it, but like that would make it better. So we are missing some flora. Yeah, here we go. So let's do a bookshelf. Um, some cabinets. And then I think I'm going to need a dedicated piece of art in there, which is fine because we have this, uh, This uranium pillar called illness. That's a bit on the nose. Is it called illness because um, everyone who handles it gets sick? Nice. We have this lovely piece of art called Demon Core. Don't touch it, please. Not even with a screwdriver. And the art is just item by war, which this piece illustrates a bomb. Great. So we had the demon core next to a bomb. Okay. Here's something deeply wrong with this colony. Well, what about this bed? I'm not very good at Roman numerals, but I'm pretty sure that's not one. <laughs> what the hell? <clears throat> uh, something for a stallion. An engraving on this furniture shaped like a stallion, searching for shade with cracked dry lips. The scene takes place inside a blazing desert. The image somehow expresses both revenge and hardship. And it's a story of a stallion overheating. Uh -huh earlier this year. All right. Weird, but okay. I didn't realize Darius noticed the dry cracking lips of our stallion. I wonder what stallion it was. So Scala, you are done in there, aren't you? So you are no longer Allowed in the villa. This donkey still has not... Alright, I'm dev moding. Destroy. It's a donkey we rescued from a caravan like years ago. I, I could have tried to prop open the fence gate and never did, but uh, this is not my problem anymore. So what are we going to do next? If you guys vote, go for the last senator. Uh, improve the guest quarters. Because they're pretty simple. I could make them nicer. We could improve the crafter district. I could put some art. You know, there's actually two other things I want to add to this list. So uh, one is beautification. What did I say that I would add to this list and then forgot that I would add to? Oh, and viewer suggestions. Ah, look, I didn't forget. There you go. Uh, I will give you five minutes to vote on that. So beautification is just to make the city look more beautiful. You know, put props in, have it be prettier, that kind of thing. Put put like curbs in and and uh, yeah, spice things up. <laughs> Maybe have a dedicated cleaner because every room that I've looked in is like filthy we don't have like a slave dedicated to cleaning it. 
Looking at you guys. Kind of kidding. Not really. Well, Milo's caravan heading southbound is soon going to get Lisko. And I'm eager to get Lisko. Uh, having the ability to make heavy shields is going to be kind of nice, I think. That way, our brawlers are, are better protected. I'm really fascinated to just like watch individuals because I'm not micromanaging any one specific person. I'm just sort of doing the overarching priorities. And where people go and what people do are very weird for this colony just because of the jobs, zoning, restrictions, timings, everything. All right, here we go. Time to kill some shadows. These wild boar are wild. That was my concern that there were like colony pets. Oh, you are definitely a wolf blood. Turning into one when you're wounded is a wolf blood trait, of course. We've got a pig skin. They are fleeing, and Lisko is joining. So I'm going to move Lisko up. Before I go back to the fight, Lisko, you are a Western Republic villa. This is your bedroom. You have your own bathrooms. You are set to gourmet food. Your schedule, I don't know your personality, is undergrounder, unhygienic, and greedy. Okay. So, you're not a night owl, so you're on normal schedules. And enjoy your lodging. Uh, with that in mind, it would be in my best benefit to roll out some heavy shields. So, I'm going to make until I have, let's say, two in stockpile. These will be made by Elba. Uh, let's go with Panthera Fur. No, I'll do full on Thrombo. I'll jump to the thrombo. Okay. I like how they had a dirt mole. Oh, I think he was shooting at us. We were ordered to kill you guys. I don't mean to disappoint. Myla, you did real well. Tran Lamry, you did real well. Neither of them are particularly injured. Did I forget a doctor this time? Hey, Deus, you can doctor ish, sort of, kind of. You're working on it. Ficus, you will check out the, with Lucia, check out the, uh, the settlement or the outpost. <laughs> Head wrap. Okay. And a toga. Awful, awful quality. And another toga. I think we just broke up a toga party. I mean, they have a farm full of smoke leaf and a bunch of togas. This this was just an orgy that we stopped. Whatever. I guess Liska doesn't like those types of things. It's fine by me. I don't really care. Payment is payment is payment. Time to return home. Not bringing the togas, not burying the dead. Good job, crew. Good job, Legion. Next up, we are improving the Citizen Domus. So the Citizen Domus is 
pretty yick. Uh, understandably. And it's still very impressive, but we have this brand new art table thing, right? So let's make let's make um, two marble reliefs for it. Best artist is Scipia. And she's going to be busy. There's other things that I could do for this as well. Um, maybe I'll put in some plain leather armchairs. For comfort. You know what? I'm going to do it like this. Couches in sort of like a patio. Now that the people have been in service for us longer. I don't have the stone for that. Um, I'll keep it packed here. So we're getting couches in there. I might upgrade the oh, they're masterwork. I was going to say I might upgrade the quality of the end tables, but given that some are masterwork, that's going to be like a tough sell. Gagu is now enslaved, so uh, I'm going to Gagu was destined to become a citizen. I'm just gonna save in case I screw something up. I think there's a console command of, like, recruit. Or... Toggle recruitable? Maybe you have to go back into the prison, but now you're no longer um, unrecruitable. I don't know if there's a console command for changing their um, member of. Hmm. Oh, set faction. Set faction, thank you. To a like a legion. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And they're gonna get raffled as a result. So as a reminder, they uh just so happened we bought them and they were like married to Ray? So we decided to uh to offer them citizenship. Uh, they're going to be a brawler. Given social drugs. And then put on zoning. Good luck in the raffle, by the way. Uh, they like mining and construction, so I will allow them to do that. Huh, they're like, okay, at wardening. So construction, mining, quarrying. Growing. Really? And plant cutting? Oh, wow. You are more useful than I thought. And going to be yet another brawler in our legion, which is going to be nice to have. More hunting required. Galeon just converted, so you are going to be enslaved too. So two, uh, Varsarun is about to be, um, is about to be enslaved at will zero next talk. 
That's happening soon. I might need to make clothing for Gagu, or whatever Gagu's new name is going to be in a minute. Oh no, they they put on armor. Legion, legionary army armor. They're fine. And the away team is now home. Don't combine... Oh, that's annoying. Smart! Smartest Muffalo I've ever seen. Running towards the other herd so that I run the risk of angering both herds, but I sniped it anyway. Sugagu, you need a weapon, do you not? I don't think we have a good one for you. In our open market, we just have that spatha, so let's try to make something for you. We are in the process of making the heavy shields. I don't, actually don't even know what happened to the heavy shields. Did we... No, we just sort of made some of it and stopped. Well, we can fix that. And Ficus just got an inspired recruit, which we don't have any prisoners that we intend to recruit, so that's not helpful. The nice couches. I think... I am going to make this area of their base part of like an inner courtyard. That way, the quality of this furniture is added to the value of the room. Okay, we just had the raffle timer kick off. GMT, it is yours. change the way I design patio. I don't know whether to put a roof on it or not. Maybe I will put a roof on it. Might look better. That way the couches aren't, like, getting rained on. I'll update the priority. So, it is to improve the Citizen Domus. I forgot to update it when you all voted for it. So all the standard citizens that live here should have nicer lodging, and that's what we're working on. Here we go! Uh, we have another raffle. So I'm going to kick the timer off again. And this is for probably one of the hauler slaves. 
Dagu, uh, you don't have a bedroom, do you? It's my bad. Darius will fix that. So assignments. Slave clothing. Low meals. No drugs. And then... I don't really care if you construct mine or quarry or any of this other stuff. I just want you to haul. We have like an excessive backlog of hauling tasks and a desire to, uh, to fix that. All of this wood out in the rain. That's no good. Uh, Ray and... You know what? You need to double bed. Actually. Bebo, what is tattered on you? Your toque? Take it off. Ooh, Gagu, you were constructing. You have a passion in it, but I should be very cautious about what I actually allow you to construct, because you are passionate, but passionately terrible. It's okay. I suck at woodwork too. We're in it together. So I'm trying to make a double bed for Gagu and uh, Ray to share. They'll be happier as a result. And then the new slave is all dressed up. And is already at hard at work. We voted a long time ago that slaves would have no hair, no tattoos. Okay, the uh, barracks is already a little bit more impressive, but we're—I uh, should honestly be building my furniture here. But given that the wood is like down here, I'm going to build it down here. Once we have enough haulers, that will change. We're a little bit behind on our hauling. Please be good quality. There we go. And Kaelin is also enslaved. So Kaelin is, is, is essentially the same exact as uh, the other one. You're going to be slave number two. They're not a, a fast walker, unlike slave number one. But we definitely identified a need for a lot more hauling, so that's what we're getting. Two dedicated haulers. And Garalon here is probably going to be a farmer, as they have a uh, high planning skill. Uh, tattoos too. I'll do that in a sec.
All right, the two new slaves, one goes to Alusarium. And the other to Cerise. And if you want to name them, use the Channel Port Redemption for uh, character names. But I will give you some name. There we go. And Gagu. Yeah, G Gagu for GMT is not bad. So Ray and Gagu sleep here now. And then who doesn't have a bed? Lucia? And then I think everyone has a bed now? Friend Larry, Maxis, Ficus, yeah. You're very low on space. So I'll set one more bed up, just so that we have an empty bed to confirm that everyone has one assigned. Yep. So have one more empty citizen bed and then we'll probably start a second domus because I don't ex I don't suspect adding any more to the one that we have here. Get some skylights in it and we're still working on the art of course. But uh, once the art's done, the project's done. Whatever happened to those shields? Oh my god. How long... How much... Elbow, what have you been doing? <laughs> like, maybe he was tailoring the whole time? I sure hope so. Or like making steel or something? No, 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 no. Uh, Elbow, I'm tired of waiting for you. Please just finish this. At least one shield for Darius. Uh, a sure save. So these visitors were afraid of the cold, but we're like, yeah, it'll be fine, which is, I think, true. Gagu, I still haven't even given you weapon. Um, I think Elba was trying to make you a better one and never got around to it. So I'll give you a Spatha for now. It's better than being disarmed. Where's my market? Big enough city that I'm, like, getting lost in it. That's <laughs> funny. And Elba just finished one of the shields, so it should be around here somewhere. Yep, there it is. Doris. There you go. Wouldn't be wise to check if they're being smelted destroyed? Uh... I don't think I'm... S oh, I don't have a smelter. So nothing should be smelted or destroyed, like, anywhere. So here it is. Armor Sharp 75. It protects the neck, torso, arms, legs, hands. Blunt and heat. It re reduces Dodge chance and movement speed, but you become an Uber tank. If you're wondering, I have enough Thrumbo fur for two more. Next time we get Thrumbo in here. Actually, I'll give the Thrumbo one to Darius, and then I'm going to change the material for the others. From Thrumbo to... I'll have to figure out what is the next best leather. Panthera is... Armor Sharp 93. Um... Plane is gonna suck. 81. Light's worse. Uh, what about heavy? I don't have them all memorized, if you're wondering. Heavy Fur is better than Panthera. What were the other choices? K-1 
Camel hide isn't going to be bear, maybe? Does bear have the heavy fur beat? Bear 112. So, probably heavy fur. So, uh, heavy fur is best sharp blunt 24. What is bear for blunt? Because we do get attacked by blunt. That's the same. So, heavy fur it is. Two heavy fur, heavy shields. Which is good, because we have a lot of that stuff. I didn't check wolf skin. Hmm. Wolf's good's not as good. Fire resist, but not as good. Alright. Well, that's pretty high armor. It's going to be pretty hard to take down Darius. And I suspect the others will benefit as well. So we're going to want Gagu, Trenlamry, and Myla all to have um, high quality shields. Ooh, I forgot torches in here, didn't I? There you go, let's go. Let's go, who hates you already? Zilla! Or Zilla? Uh, of course, she's like hideous. No one likes her. CPUs are going to take a while for the relief for the uh, barracks, but the barracks went up from like barely impressive to quite impressive. And we could probably boost it some more by putting in the Iron Grand Statue in there. Which, let's do it. Because we can always put the reliefs in here, which I think make more sense anyway. Sagagu. Let's have you bring that Grand Statue in. So it's extremely impressive now. And the impressiveness of our dining room hasn't gone down. What's my next, uh, what's my next task? I could keep doing it. Or I could take on another task. It's up to you guys. That's a cool looking town? Thanks. Oh, this is not, uh... Shoot, it's missing some things. There you go. There's the full list. So what is the armor difference between Darius with the shield and anyone else? Massive. I mean, Myla has really strong armor, but Darius beats them out by a lot. So Elba is working on a heavy shield. I think some of the heavy shield, why it took so long is just like, we're low on wood. We have a lot of woodcutters everywhere. It's just taking a minute for them to get ahead of the wood demand. One of the issues with such a large footprint town is hauling tasks are brutal because there's just, it's so big you spend so much time in transit. So that's uh, one of the things you see here is like tracking Cerise. Um, it's pretty plain to see how long it takes to haul any one item from point A to point B. And there's really nothing I can do about that. It's just going to be a bottleneck. It's a rimworld restriction, if you will. And I'm I'm okay with that. It means we need more slaves. Because I don't want to build smaller. I did notice that we have a lack of berries, so I might uh Try to harvest some wild berries so that we can offer desserts for the the senators. I don't want the senators to starve. 
Like, that's way more important. That's the pri primary uh, goal. Like, they shall not starve. Oh, I never moved that chair in. But having desserts would be nice. Now, there is one more slave. And I probably... Resistance of 10... Loyal Creed 51. Uh, we can do a conversion ritual. So I'll be kicking off one of those in just a minute. Seeing if we can't get Garalon to join sooner. You're not allowed to sit there. I will allow it this once, but... If it happens again, <laughs> there's gonna be some problems. Foen. You too. Why are they... It's not a gather spot. Oh, you know, it's because Branya is, um... Using the... This stool. I need another stool in here. There's other little micromanagement things that I can do to stop that. Like, one would be to store the meals that they eat in here. I'll keep an eye on it to make sure that the Western Villa slaves aren't using the Western Villa facilities for anything. You slept in the cold. Oh! Yeah, nope, that's my fault. I need a radiator in there, too. So let's make a radiator and then deliver it. Shoot, I totally forgot. You guys want me to build a cemetery? So the idea was to have tiered cemeteries. I think for our own citizens, of which we currently have none buried, uh, we would have a crypt or mausoleum. For slaves, they're just going to have headstones by the side of the road. And for plebeians, so there's going to be a patrician, a patrician, I think senators, if they die, are going to have their own, like, private thing going on. Uh, so we have our patricians, our plebeians, and our enslaved, and they each will have their own uh, facilities. So that's what we'll work on in just a second. Um... As soon as I have Lisco's uh, bedding requirements set up. Okay. Lisco should be all set now. Deus. Wait. Who? Maxis and Trinlamry. So Trinlamry, you are on a night schedule with Maxis. Oh yeah, that, that makes sense. The enemies have their own cemetery? Yeah! Um, they make fertilizer for wild animals, I guess. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Lycan Legion, which originally streamed live on Twitch November 3rd. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and count on timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com also has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscriber, and viewers like you that support the channel 
and made it all the way to the credits, thank you so very much. I hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Centurions. <laughs>